So as you can see, just a few cuts later, we turn these five stones into a nice little seating area. We match the gaps all up with about a one inch uniform gap, so there's not going to be a lot of rocking going on. Put a big flat one here for a bench to sit on. And we match the, the theme of the existing patio that we built three years ago over there. Okay, here we are day two. We've got the stones all laid. We're working on leveling them. We got the levels out. We got the rubber mallet out. And we got the claw out. As you can see, I laid the six foot level across these four stones. This one, we've already leveled to the patio so we know it's good. We've got our bubble going up the way we want it. And it's going up to this stone. These three stones in the center are just a touch slow. You can see there's about three eighths of an inch or so gap underneath here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna raise these three stones up so that we got an even grade going down along this area. So, pretty simple. Lift one stone, Craig will throw a little bit of gravel underneath it. Spread out the gravel. If you've got a hump in the center and you lay the stone, you're gonna have some wobbling going on. So if anything, it's better to have a slight divot in the center. Spread the gravel out. Lay the stone down, position it back into place. Now you can see that I went a little bit too high on that, which is okay. I can use a couple different techniques to lower the stone. One, shifting it back and forth. And that brought us down a little bit. Still needs to go down a touch, so I'll take a little bit out. down again. I'm going to use my two foot level also to go across. So I want to be pretty much level going across. Right now I've got a pitch going up towards me so I'll take a touch out of this side. Lay the stone back down. I think I'll raise it a little bit in the back there. A little shift. Okay, so now we're at a good level there. We're touching this stone, this stone, and that stone. I'm going to move on and do the next two in a minute here. I want to double check my level across. Pretty much good. Slight bubble up. Now I'm going to use the rubber mallet. You see that bubble there? Now it's essentially level. Another way you can use this is by holding it here and packing around the stone to solidify it. I'll put my weight on this side, doing this, pack a little bit of gravel underneath the edges. There you go. You got a level stone positioned right. You can test it by standing on it, walking on the corners. You can see it doesn't move at all. That's a stable stone. Okay, we're leveling over here now. We've got a transition going from the uh, existing patio up to the concrete patio there. This is going up. There's no way we can get around that because we have to meet up with our concrete given. This is also going up over here. So what we're going to have is a transition where this stone is going to have to be pitched up because it's next to these stones and it has to match. And what we're going to try and do is over the next few stones shrink the, the slope a little bit so that we get to where we're eventually going to be you know, level going across this way. In order to do that, we're going to have to lower this stone because when I put my level across, you can see that it's a little bit higher. There's a small gap underneath here. 
So lowering the stones is more difficult than raising the stones. That's why we always lay our base just a little bit lower than it needs to be so that we can raise 90% of the stones. When you lower them, it's just a more difficult process. But basically, the claw comes in handy. You can see with the um, edges of the stone here where it's touching here. You want to dig that down a little bit. And this is the extra gravel that uh, Craig can shovel out for me. Closer. I think I might have gone down too much there because I want to match up to the next stone. And you can see that it's touching right here, but it's not touching right here. So I got to raise this back edge up to touch. So I go take some of that gravel and put it back. Good. Spread it out. Levels right there. Again, we're going to have a little bit of a pitch going up right now because we're going to transition out of that. And the next one, we'll try and get level. I can use my mallet again. I can visibly see a little void underneath there, so Craig will put a little bit of gravel around some of the other edges too. And spread that out, pack underneath it. So we have all the stones leveled now. Craig's just sweeping off the a little bit of gravel that's left on top of the stones so it doesn't get mixed in with the dirt. Okay, everything's leveled and swept off now. We're going to add the topsoil. So Craig's dumping little piles of dirt. I got the push broom here. I'm just going to take it and sweep it off. Put the topsoil into all the gaps. Make it look nice. around evenly. After I get a pretty consistent layer where, where I like it, then I'll just get down with my hands and knees and push it down. This will help solidify it a little bit, help stabilize the stones. This pathway is going to get planted with ground cover later on, so it's okay if the dirt's a little bit lower than stone because the ground cover is going to come up a touch. Um, and you want the dirt lower than the stone. If the dirt's higher than the stone, then when it rains or when you go to hose it off and clean it, you're just going to have muddy stones. If they got a little bit lower dirt than the stone, the water will run off and the stones can look clean and pretty. Okay, this is the final stage, cleaning off the stones. Craig's just hosing them. Uh, really no uh, rocket science involved here. You're just spraying off stones with water. Try not to get the dirt and wash the dirt back up on top of the stones and other than that, you're finished now. You got a nice walkway. You see all the stones are uniform and level and stable, ready to plant ground cover between. So today we learned how to build a flagstone walkway. I'd like to thank Craig Bohr for helping me out. I'm Stephen Gronkmeyer, where we simply rocks.